Hi, I'm Sheriff Gary Hoffman, and we're here at Smoke, Rattle, and Roll, and I'm here with Josh Shantz. And we're here to bring you back the badge for the second annual year. Here we are again with another year of an exciting event. Uh, back the Badge is back again, second annual. Uh, back the Badge will be on the 14th of October, so we got about two and a half weeks, almost three weeks. Uh, last year, we fed about 500 first responders and family. Uh, it's our first responder appreciation day, so every year we like to give back and show the community how much we support them uh, from Smoke, Rattle, and Roll. <coughs> Excuse me, and as a, as a community as a whole. So last year, we put the food truck out at your office. Had a great time, had a lot of people show up. This year we're gonna do the same thing. We'll have our food truck over at the Sheriff's Office in Queen Anne's County. But don't limit yourself to Queen Anne's County if you're PG, Annapolis, Kent County, doesn't matter where you work. If you have a badge, come on down. We're gonna feed you for free that day. Uh, this year we've actually expanded into a golf tournament as well. Queenstown Harbor Golf Course is going to uh, provide the facilities for us to do our first annual Back the Badge golf tournament. Um, all proceeds are now also going to what we call our first responder of the year. This year, Deputy Scott Hogan from your department is going to be our recipient, and we're going to do everything that we can to help him out. He's been such a uh, such a phenomenal guy hanging in there after all he's been through. So we're going to do everything that we can to, to make sure we take care of Scott. And um, we're taking sign up still for four-man scramble teams. You can donate either money to feed a first responder. You can sign up as a foursome. You can donate um, as a whole sponsor or just donate to the cause in general right to Scott. Uh, you can go to smokerattleandroll.com and send us an email or send us an email directly to contact at smokerattleandroll.com. We'll get back to you with all the information, the sign-up sheets, anything that you need to know, we'll be happy to get it to you and uh, we'll get this thing rolling. Josh, I can't tell you how much I really appreciate all that you and the community do. Um, I really, from my heart, wish this was something we didn't have to do. But we know first responders a lot of times are injured in the line of duty, and this could be a dispatcher, a paramedic, a firefighter, a police officer, a deputy sheriff. Anybody that's out there wearing the badge really could benefit from this. And it's one of those things where we really appreciate all that you and Smoke, Rattle, and Roll are doing to help the Hogan family this year. Um, it really means a lot to us, and I'll tell you, we really appreciate the support from the community when they come out to support these things that you all do. It's great food, by the way, too. Yeah, so I appreciate it. I'll tell you, when you go there, ask for the sheriff special. <laughs> and what that is, is that's a huge pile of macaroni and cheese with a bunch of pulled pork on top. That's right. Oh my God, that stuff is so good. So. Yeah, we, uh, we we really enjoy doing it, you know, and it's something that being a part of the community is, is we almost feel obligated to do it because we live here, we work here, and we wanna make sure that, that, you know, we maintain a good relationship, not only with the community itself, but with the people who protect it. So, and then, um, spoiler alert, we're gonna be building a store in Centerville here shortly as well, is, is on the horizon. So hopefully, we're gonna even be a in more integral part of the community that we live in. So, you know, Back the Badge has allowed us to touch a lot of hearts and a lot of minds and really kind of dulled down a lot of the bad things that are going on in, in the community and in the world in general. Um, last year when we first started it, there was, there was so much negativity surrounding you know, the, the relationships between, you know, civilians and police officers or, or fire, whatever, you know, it happened to be. The badge was seen something as almost a negative and we really wanted to, to get rid of that in general. Um, you know, so it, it's not about the food, it's not about, you know, anything other than a local company and local people showing support for local, um, you know, law enforcement, fire, whatever it may be, letting them know that we support them completely and that there's anything that we can do, that we're absolutely gonna do it. We really appreciate that and I'll tell you, it goes a long way and I know the community appreciates it. And I know nationwide there's a lot going on with law enforcement sure. and public safety as a whole, but I can tell you Queen Anne's County is an amazing county and they really do support and they do step up to support law enforcement and first responders. And I guess together we need to thank really them for being there to support us. Absolutely. Thank Anytime. You. Thank you. You got it.